All right, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be watching Guardians of the Galaxy number two. Now, now this is a movie I haven't seen before. And I'm going into it completely blind. I don't know what to expect, but I really enjoyed the last Guardians movie. So I'm excited for this one. I hope it's just as good. You know, it probably will be. Hopefully get to learn more about the characters and everything. So I'm going to stop wasting time. We're just going to hop right into this movie. If you want to watch the full length reaction, that will be available on Patreon as well. Early access to the next two MCU movies will also be on Patreon. So let's watch this movie. That's a sick ass mullet. Should I grow a mullet? Oh, no. Meredith Quill. Oh, Meredith Quill. I can't believe I fell in love with a space man. Okay. Well, qu the Quill part makes me think this is Peter's parents. 34 years later. Dimensional beast from feeding on those batteries, and I'm gonna stop it with a sword. It's- yeah. Why aren't you wearing one of Rocket's arrow rigs? It hurts. I have sensitive nipples. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Oh, it's Baby Groot. They were not looking at you, buddy. Yeah, last time we saw in the last movie, at the very end, he was just a little tiny seed. He was a sprout in the last movie. That's what it is. They're all just fighting. Groot's out here just dancing, having the time of his life. Yeah, Groot, you want to help? Oh, guys, actually, to earlier today, I was on Instagram. And I saw an ad for a casting call on like, not that kind of casting call. It was a casting call for Guardians 3 as just like a background character and I applied. So I thought that'd be cool. I don't think it will happen, but that would, you know, you know imagine that. That would be, that'd be pretty funny. You think I'll get it? Probably not. Groot, what are you doing? I must cut through it from the inside. No, huh? please don't. Please don't. Drax! <laughs> Drax. That's R.I.P. Drax. Not, not really, but... From the outside! I realize that! Oh my fucking god. <laughs> oh, she is gonna use the sword. Right, good shit, Gamora. Good shit. Now watch, Drax is gonna be like, I told you it would work. I have single-handedly vanquished the beast. <laughs> batteries. Harbulary batteries. That's nothing like what I just said. But there was that wasn't even close. It's me repeating stuff from Game of Thrones. What I just trying to explain what happened. It's not even close. People the old-fashioned way. Well, perhaps someday you could give me a history lesson. Ooh. Make ways of our ancestors. Ooh. Academic purposes. Academic, yeah. Oh, it's Nebula. Family reunion, yay! <laughs> <laughs> Fucking A. Thank you, High Priestess Aisha. What is your heritage, Mr. Quill? And your father? He ain't from Missouri. That's all I know. So there's something more to Quill than we know. You wanna buy some batteries? Right. Hey, he's playing the mixtape he had. He got us a present from the last movie. Apologizing, so sorry. Gamora is not the one. <laughs> I was a little I was a little surprised too when I saw him there. Not you just need to find a woman who is pathetic. Like you. <laughs> God damn it, Rex. Because Rocket stole some of their batteries. Dude! Right. He didn't steal some of those. I don't know why they're after us. What a mystery this is. That's <laughs> amazing, dude. That's amazing. I'm gonna kill some guys! Jesus. Rocket's so bloodthirsty. We're not killing anyone. <laughs> you have to go through that quantum asteroid field. Fuck it. We're going. To make it through that, you'd have to be the greatest pilot in the universe. Lucky for us. Oh, yeah. I was about to say, he's literally Han Solo, Pluto and O. Oh, that's what you get when Quill flies. He's like a little hamster. What, is Drax going out there? 
Alright, I see you, Drax. <laughs> Bro, if they jump when Drax is out there, I feel like they're already going too fast. Someone destroyed all our ships! What? Who? The blue guy from the last movie? Can't, I'm blanking on his name right now. It's a guy. Oh, wait. Okay, Drax should be fucking dead, but... At least we made it! <laughs> that was awesome! Okay, I don't know how Drax is alive after all that. They're called Harbulary Batteries. No, they're not! You know why I did it, Star Munch? Hmm? I'm not gonna answer, Star Munch. I did it because I wanted to! Dick. What are we even talking- Dude, Rocket's so fucking selfish. They lie. I bet it's the one-inch man. Yeah, it's probably the people who saved them. Okay, just destroy the planet. Sure. Destroy the environment. Sure. Oh, okay. okay. Hold on. My name is Ego. And I'm your dad, Peter. Oh, okay. So that was the guy at the beginning of the movie. But I, what I was going to say... Is that girl that was with him? That's the girl. She was in Infinity War. I remember her. But in the first Guardians movie, I was wondering like when she was gonna come in, but she never did. Oh, he was in the last movie too. <laughs> but I was wondering when that girl next to him was gonna come in. She never did. So I guess she got introduced into this movie. Okay. Is that Sylvester still alone? Yep. I know that voice anywhere. The horns of freedom when you die, young dude. And the colors of a gourd will never flash over your grave. Damn. You broke all our hearts. Shake my head, young dude. I just thought he was kind of, I thought Sylvester Stallone in there was kind of just being a dick, but now it's kind of valid. It's kind of valid. This carpet is the most extra thing ever. I hired Yondu to pick you up when your mother passed away. But, oh. Clue as to why. Well, I'll tell you why. Because I was a skinny little kid who could squeeze you down ever since. I thought Yondu was your father. <laughs> no. Heard tell about the man they call Star Lord. Let's say we head out there right. Heard about Star Lord. Gotta take a whiz. So his dad is just some special specimen. Lives in space. I am Mantis. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, what the fuck is she? What are you doing? I was raised alone on Ego's planet. I do not understand the intricacies of social interaction. Me neither, bro. Me neither. A hey, puppy. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucked. <laughs> Give me a break. That was so annoying. Point, Peter. What if this man is your Hasselhoff? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's just see. Let's just see. What is your goal here? To get everybody to hate you? Because it's working. Damn, that felt kind of sincere. Like it kind of, like it kind of meant that. Okay, is it just me? Or when it comes to David Hasselhoff, I never, I've never seen him in Baywatch. I only know of him because of the Spongebob movie, okay? May I? Oh, all right. She's about to expose him. She's gonna say some fucked up shit. You feel love. Okay, okay. Dick. Sexual love. No, no, I don't. For her. No. Okay, not really exposed, but that was good. Told everyone your deepest, darkest secret. Dude, uh, come uh, on. I think you're uh, over. I don't think that's that bad. No, so embarrassed. It's not that bad. What? If I touch someone who is sad, I can ease them into contentment for a short while. Right here, touch. Right here, right here, right here. Please. 
Yep, and that's what she did to Thanos in Infinity War. I just remember it because it's like, it probably took all of her power to fucking put him to sleep. <sighs> <gasps> Dummy. Oh, I thought the- Alright, I just tranquilized him, I guess. Oh, he's been waiting. Yeah, Rocket just wants to kill people, dude. <laughs> Bro, he's getting too much pleasure out of this. This was a fucking sociopath. Tough now. You got all your toys. Are you? He's got more. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Man, Rocket's fucking hard, dude. Oh, it's Yondu. Crap. Yep. <laughs> There's just too many of them, but Rocket did Rocket did pretty good right there. Any of them, he needs my help. Wait, is Yondu even like mad that about him? You need to get me. Uh, Quill didn't even give him the fucking power stone in the last movie. You know he's after them for the Golden Girl now, but quarter mil on the open market. That yeah. a quarter is only one third of that. A quarter no. ain't a. Th no, it's not. There is twenty five. No. no, we can't even buy a. Wait, why do you say no? Suppose it's time for a change in leader. No, you can't do this to him. Wow. This, fellas, or even a violent one, where I'm standing over there. Wait, what the fuck? Wait, did he just fucking die? Yeah, I guess Groot let her out. It's not right. Okay, did Yondu just fucking die? No way! What? I mean, it wasn't in other movies I've seen to take place after this. So, fuck. Maybe, uh, I don't know. I too am extraordinarily humble. <laughs> Stop. I'm what's called a celestial sweetheart. Okay. <laughs> okay, so he's a celestial. Small G. Did you make a penis? <laughs> my father would tell the story of impregnating my mother every winter solstice. That's disgusting. Yeah, bro. That's something. That's probably why he's just so fucking fucked up. You earthers have hangups. Yes, Drax. When did you meet my mother? 1980. I think that's what I said. Aww. Did and when I heard of a man from Earth who held an infinity stone in his hand without dying. I knew that was my son. If you loved her, why did you leave her? Okay, cool. Find out later, I guess. Wait, is he dead? Dude, he looks fucking dead. Bro, that is the most fucked up thing to do to someone. Send them out into the fucking cold space. Oh my god. Just send them out in the space? Come on. Oh, they said hello. Okay. I guess it was everyone who sided with Yondu. They just sent out the space to die. That's fucked. Oh, wait, he's not dead? I'm down the wrong path. Because you're weak. Dude, okay, I swear in the last like, clip they showed, he was not moving. But he's moving now. But he's like barely alive. <laughs> oh, I, I'm sorry. I was, your name is. It's Taserface? <laughs> You're into the hearts of anyone what hears it. No, bro. No. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. We're killing you first. Well, try it. Enough killing for today. Yeah, and was about to piece this guy up, put him in his place. And they're all about to just look up to her after this. And a couple more things. We got a whole box of hands. Got a hand. Every time my sister prevailed, my father would replace a piece of me with machine. Ooh. Murder my sister. I will buy a warship with every. So that's why Nebula fucking hates Gamora. Single day. 
Yeah. <laughs> I knew they were going to. I was talking about like a pretty necklace. Yeah, I knew they were going to do that. The me Something make the other girls go, ooh, that's nice. <laughs> okay, but that's why Nebula fucking hates Gamora. I guess she hates Thanos. Like, Peter. I couldn't stand to set foot on an Earth where she wasn't living. You can't imagine what that's like. I know like. exactly what that feels like. Yeah. Center of this planet. Oh, yes! what the fuck? You can do it. Bring it back. Yes! Yes. Yes, now. I mean, it makes sense because he's half celestial. Okay, I still feel like he should have went back to Earth to pick up Peter himself. Even even though, you know, he couldn't stand the set foot on an Earth where you know the love of his love of his life wasn't there. It's like, look, you're not staying there. You're just gonna go pick up your son and dip. It's not like you're staying there for a couple of years. You know? It's and it's not like he knew Yondu was gonna just kidnap him. People usually want cute pets. Why would you go on such a hideous one? Drax is fucking wild. Horrifying bro. to look at. Yes. Oh my god. But that's a good thing. Uh -huh. Oh. When you're ugly and someone loves you, you know they love you for who you are. <laughs> bro. Beautiful people never know who to trust. Well. <laughs> bro, Drax is fucking wild. <laughs> Oh, she can feel the pain that he feels for his family. Uh. <sighs> That's sad. I, I can't imagine losing, like, a kid. Like, I, I don't have kids. But it's like, if, just imagining losing one, like, dude. I'd be so broken. <laughs> Many things, like I'm a pet and ugly. <laughs> You're not ugly. Drax. What are you talking about? Mantis, can you- I help him sleep. What were you about to say to Drax before I walked out? Yeah. There's more going on here. There has to be. A plant. Can I smash it with a rock? No, chef. It's too adorable to kill. Exactly. They exiled me. This is what I deserve. Slow that. Damn, kind of feel bad. You might deserve this, but I don't. We gotta get out of here. <laughs> really honest. Yeah, he went off with his old man. Ego? Yeah. It's a day for that. Yeah, he, he knows more about Ego than we do. Why didn't you deliver Quill to Ego like you promised? Because Ego is a bad man. Me. Could fit into places we could. Yeah, okay, okay. I got an idea on how to get out of here. Oh, I thought he was about to drop something on Ego. <laughs> Bro, what are they doing, the group? Dude. Bro! Fuck off. Dude. I feel bad for them. It's a prototype fit. Bro. Sorry. That's Vorker's eye. Bro, how do you... Get out when he sleeps. Oh. Go. Can I know where his eye is? God, <laughs> fucking rocket, dude. That's a desk. Bro, what the... F it was this big. Groot, it's not that... A thumb? Whose fucking thumb? Tell me you guys have a refrigerator somewhere with a bunch of severed human toes. Oh, it's a toe. Okay. You know, Groot's so adorable. Dude, you're doing great, Groot. You're doing great. Don't worry. There we go. No. Bro, come on. Yep. Oh, he's gonna help him. They killed all my friends. Aww. One more thing. 
don't say it, don't say something. Got any clones of Quill's old music on the ship? Oh. Perfect. That's actually good. I thought he was gonna be like, I need someone's eye, or I thought he was gonna ask for like a fucking a limb or something. You know what? I'm digging the mohawk. <laughs> yep, this one arrow is gonna take out them all. Dude, this one arrow is pretty fucking OP. <laughs> Oh my god, Groot's a fucking menace. Oh, that's pretty cool how they did that one in the dark. <laughs> yeah, we gotta make sure we get him. This one's personal. You maniac! Yeah. The whole ship's gonna blow. Oh, fuck. I thought Rocket was like. That was the best thing I've ever seen, but no, the ship's... The ship's about to blow. Oh, that's why he said get the Quadrant 3 ready to this guy. It's for young new ship. Really? Taser face. No. I'm mainly body to hop more than 50 oh. jumps at a time. Oh. 700! Oh. <laughs> Rocket's face. <laughs> One of the greatest Earth singers of all time. Who? I actually don't know who. <laughs> Sounds nice though. This. Cheers. It's romantic tension. That place is real, and this is a fantasy. This is real. I feel like Amora is on. She's right. I finally found my family. Don't you understand that? I thought you already had. Ooh. Yeah, like Drax, Gamora. And Rocket and Groot, they're not good enough for you, Quill. You know, ah, it sucks. Because, like, none of them have family, and now they're all together, and they're one family together. But Gamora just feels like she's being pushed out. Also, she just doesn't trust any of this shit. Oh. Oh, fuck, it's Nebula. I thought it was Rocket for a second. Nebula's really damn committed to killing Gamora. How the fuck is she carrying that? <laughs> and Gamora wins again. And Gamora's gonna save her, too. Because it's the right thing to do. Oh my god. Okay, because it's the right thing to do. Yeah, I never can't do it. And, and I just wanted a sister. Ooh. Yeah, it'd be like that. I mean, it's a pretty valid reason to not like Gamora. Was <laughs> within the planet. I'm immortal. Mm-hmm. Okay, so Quill is immortal. With Skeletor and Heather Locklear. <laughs> gonna, gonna make some weird shit. But you know, Peter, it is a tremendous. Says a child. Okay, why is Mantis so worried? Does she not even trust Ego? It's the type of thing you are. Hey, there's no need to get personal. Let's Bro. <laughs> Ego's gotten exactly what he wanted. I should have told you Yeah, he's been manipulating Quill. You are in danger. Yeah, it's, it kind of just seems like Ego's been manipulating Quill pretty hard. So, I don't know what his bigger plan is, but... You need to readjust the way you process life. What, they, he wants to take over the universe? Including the girl. Everything is... And he needs Quill for it or something? Now, when I finally did find it, it was all so... disappointing. Uh oh To a profound realization. That needs to be wiped out. Was not so that I could walk among... That life. So I gotta rule it. Peter, I have found meaning. We're family. Hell yeah. We leave no one behind. Hell yeah, Drax. Except maybe you. 
I returned to Earth to see her three times, and I knew if I returned a fourth, I'd, I'd never leave. Damn. Reason for my very existence would be over, so it broke my heart to put that tumor in her head. I ignored my destiny once. I can't do it again. It's f he has that type of fuck. He has that Thanos dedication. What? No, no, all right. I know that sounds bad. Oh. That didn't kill him. There's no. He's a celestial. Find the form that best suited you. <laughs> Rocket. Keep that transmitter nearby. Wow, so his dad is the one who killed his mom. That's far. Don't don't do anything with the Walkman. Peter. This is the sea. Dude, not the Walkman. Fuck. Uh, well, if that's happening back on Earth, wouldn't the Avengers do something about that then? Oh, wait. No, that's right. I, oh. Here, jackass! Okay. <laughs> but no, that's right. After Civil War, they they, they kind of broke up. So. Out of the way, number smaller group! <laughs> To murder me! I said you, you stupid fox. He's not a fox. Oh, I thought she said you stupid fuck. I was like, what? <laughs> yeah, good luck, guys. Good luck. Delivered me to this maniac. You still reckon that's the reason I kept you around, you idiot? That's it's you probably not. Said you were gonna eat. That was being funny. <laughs> not to me. <laughs> that's my freaking father. <laughs> Animals on the planets and the people. <laughs> <laughs> this was just vibing. Oh, these fuckers are back. Hey, actually, maybe they'll help us out here. Probably not. Maybe, maybe they'll be forced to kind of do something about it because they'll pull up and realize. Hey, remember that Aisha chick? Yeah, what? Uh... Oh hell! Fuck. <laughs> Hey, maybe it'll blow up the core as collateral damage to this going on right now. A detonator is worthless without explosives. Well, we got these. Oh, God. The batteries. He's coming. Because I believe in you. Okay, I thought he was about to say some fucking... <sighs> she did it. I never thought she'd be able to do oh it my fuck, with this weak and skinny as she appears to be. Dude, I fucking... <sighs> the... Yo, Drax is so fucking insensitive. Like, I don't think he's aware of, like, what... how hurtful everything he says is. The bomb immediately, and we'll all be he's dead. Press it. Now, repeat like back... right now. That's right. No. No! Go, Gondo! Do you have... Oh, my God. Have Not the time... Then why did you ask me if Scott's safe would work if you don't have Oh my god. Or I asked Yondu and she was sitting right next to him. I knew you were lying. You have priceless bad Dude. Come on, Nebula. Wax. Wax. Oh, is it gonna wake up? Ego? No. These people will fucking suck. We're gonna blow! Peter! No! Okay. Yeah. Maybe it looks good. I mean, I know they don't die, but. Yeah, he's a fucking celestial. How does Yon do <laughs> What? He look like Mary Poppins. <laughs> Is he cool? No. Boy, Hell yeah, he's cool. <laughs> I'm Mary Poppins, y'all! <laughs> Mantis, look out! <laughs> you know, I was gonna say, well, they still gotta deal with Ego, but then I was like, no, it looks like they kinda got it. <laughs> Oh, 
Foreshadowing. Oh, Nebula saved her. No. See, Nebula still cares about her. She's just... Get over it. Yeah. Come now. She just wanted a sister, you know? And if you kill her, then you really won't have a sister. Ooh, I broke his fucking helmet. Or well, not his helmet, his face mask. No, the arrow broke. Dude, Ego is fucking powerful. Not grew. Dude, this is wiping out cities on Earth. You can't tell me the Avengers would not be alerted for that. I get they just broke up, for sure. But, like, still. Like, that's an Avengers level threat on Earth. At least some of them would do some, try and do something. Like, Vision would try and do something about that. I don't use my head to fly the arrow. Exactly. I use my heart. You shouldn't have killed my mom and squished my Walkman. <laughs> and squished my Walkman. <laughs> yeah, that. The mom was one thing, but the Walkman, you gotta die for that. I guess... I guess I wasn't around long enough on Earth for them to, like, really be notified and do something, but still. But still, you, I think you know what I was trying to say. Quill can keep him distracted! It's one job. Super simple. Come on. Okay, okay. Come on. Yes. Oh, it's a little run right there. Turn a twig! Not without you! Uh, we're not leaving you. You need to give me this. Oh, Yondu. It's, it's honorable, but like, come on. He says, welcome to the frickin' Guardians of the Galaxy. Aww. Only he didn't use frickin'. Aww. Real discussion about your language. They yeah, don't cuss enough, group. I was wondering what cool was. Of course, he'd be back, man. Rocket. Rocket, look at me! Where is he? Bro, you're just gonna leave him? <laughs> Why? I can only afford to lose one friend today. Wow. Uh, Rocket! Where's Quill? Rocket thinks Quill's not gonna make it. No. Stop! Stop! Listen to me! You are a god! If you kill me, you'll be just like everybody else. Yeah, I want to be. What's so wrong with exactly. that? Hey, I mean, if he didn't kill his dad right there, then he would just be used as a fucking battery for the next thousand years. It's Yondu. Yondu came through. I for sure thought Yondu was about to die. He may have been but your then, father, but boy. But after Rocket gave him the thing. Wait, wasn't your dad? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I just got that. I'm damn lucky you, my boy. Oh, uh, okay. When Rocket handed Yondu the two things. Oh, wait. What? He has one Rocket in his spacesuit. I was like, ah, uh, but he's using the spacesuit to save Quill right now. Yondu! So Yondu's sacrificing himself. Wow. So he does die. Wow. R.I.P. Yondu. I guess David Hasselhoff did kind of end up being my dad after all. In a way. I had a pretty cool dad. Yeah. Yondu is technically his dad. He raised him, so. Closest thing to a dad. For Yondu. Come back to the fold someday. Is that a Walkman? Pull a Zune. It's oh, what everybody's listening to it's on Earth. Like an iPod. Oh. Came for his funeral. 
Stallone gonna show up and be here now? Like, you know what? He broke the code, but he's still a good man or something. He didn't let us down after all. I know he yelled at him. Dude, RV on you, man. Ah, it's making it really sad. A little tear for y'all do. And so are you. I don't need it. On the inside. Oh my god. Never mind. And I know that I have to go away. I know I have to go. <sighs> Same. Well, that was Guardians. Well, that was Guardians of the Galaxy 2. God damn. That was really good. Dude, that was better than the first one. Pr probably, yeah. All right, well, that was Guardians of the Galaxy 2. Really damn good movie. Pro I think I like this one better than the first, if I'm being honest. Like, personally, I think this one was a little bit better. Honestly, though, like, dude, RIP Yondu. He was a real one. Like, I, I'm pretty damn hurt by that. I really like them. I really like the actor that plays him, too. I don't know his name, but I really like him. And so, dude, fuck his dad, though. Like, fuck Quill's dad. Honestly. Fuck, he's such a fucking prick. Like, so basically, his plan was to just go from planet to planet, impregnate a bunch of other species, hope, hope one of them is a celestial just like him, and plant seeds across the universe, you know, and all the ones that didn't end up being a celestial, 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 shushy, celestial oh my god why can't i fucking say it now okay whatever um oh only one of them ended up being one which is quill and all the he just waxed the other ones like oh you're not my dna killed <laughs> some game of thrones type shit and like dude it's kind of fucked up how he killed quill's mom too but like i get it, like he was getting unfocused on his mission you know it's like i, I get it not really um like, it's fucked, so he gave her brain cancer himself. So, like, that's fucked. And so, you know, which gave Quill the will to beat him in the end. And the Walkman in the end. So, but, like, okay, honestly, dude, the funniest line out of this movie was when Yondu saved Quill. And he was like, he may have been your father, but he's not your daddy. <laughs> like, dude. That was the fun, dude. I that was the funniest line I've heard in a very long time. Like that was so per that was perfect for that. <sighs> and as all you know, and all and also the soundtrack was also great in this movie. You know, and didn't really know who the artists they were referencing because I'm I'm pretty young, and it was a lot. It was a uh, way before my time. But also I'm, I was kind of thinking about it too, and it's like, okay, did Ego like? have any grief or remorse or guilt like i know he did a little bit for killing all, all of his sons and daughters or whatever but like was mantis there to help him sleep because of that like is that why he needed he needed her to help him sleep or he just in general because like i can't sleep for shit either but i don't know it's just a cool thought you know just a thought but anyways comment down below what you thought about this movie and if you liked the video like the video and thanks for watching.